Hi, good afternoon. Uh, my name's Simon. I'm joined by Richie and Dan from Health to War Gaming, and we're here to talk you through uh, today's releases on the uh, Community Twitch channel. Another little kind of bitch and a moan about everything that we don't like, and uh, kind of a whoop and a howl about everything that we do. <laughs> and hopefully, pick up on some hobby greatness that we've been missing out on over the last couple of weeks with this dreaded lockdown. I know. How have you guys managed it? Have you managed to get anything done? Yeah, I think I've played about two armies now already. <laughs> I've been off for about a month, I have, so I've just been smashing loads out. I managed to paint about 3,000 points of Tau so far, and then nice. uh, cracking through my Heresy Space Wolf army at the moment. So, Sweet. smashing through. Yeah, I'm just painting, I'm just painting all my... Uh, I basically brought a Heresy Wordbearers army uh, about yeah. a year ago, and I've just decided to start painting it now, so I've got loads painted and also going from my uh shade spire stuff underworld stuff we yeah. got that all sorted well it's taken me about three weeks to paint eight gob hobgoblins for my uh my blood bowl team so i'm not getting through anything quick <laughs> i thought you painted like two now you? say again i thought you painted two now haven't you uh i've nearly painted all eight actually i've just got oh, yeah. i think i've got the eyes and the toenails or something left to do i say it really random Oh, okay, that's not too bad. Um, well, I was quite <laughs> I mean, good the other I mean, night, actually, having a game with Dan. Um, oh, you're getting shades by cards out. How many have you got there, Dan? 1,500. <laughs> How do you even build a deck out of 1,500 cards? I just... I can buy in shares and save to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> you're supposed to be teaching me it later. <laughs> yeah, later on. <laughs> I just can So, uh, what do you guys reckon they're going to be showing off today, then? I'm hoping I've got a funny different. feeling that the heresy stuff is going to be either more Dark Angels or possibly some more word bearers. I reckon it's going to be rules for the lion, kind of like a couple of leaks about that. And I think there needs to be something for 40k because there hasn't been a big 40k reveal, uh, reveal yet. So I, I think know. it's going to be something to do with that, I reckon. Because they've had a full Age of Sigma army, they've had some Blood Bowl stuff. Uh, I think that'll be a big 40k one today. I'm, I'm not convinced there's going to be a big 40k one. We've done a lot of 40k recently. I've, I wouldn't be surprised if we start shifting on to something else. Um, maybe a little AOS. Right, we've got three minutes to the first review, guys. Okay, that's cool. Exciting. Exciting. <laughs> what do you reckon they're going to lead with? I reckon it will be Age of Sigma first. That's no, Shades by. Now, nah, 40k. Have they even released anything for Shades by lately? No. But they put. Um, oh, yeah, they, they did actually. Fire logo, yeah. they? The Firewall Band in the last world. No, uh, that was um, Underworlds. Um, Warcry. Oh, uh, okay. So you're going to buy this Sorry, Warcry yeah, game. band when they're bringing that out as well, Dan? Beans got them all. Yeah, I don't play anyone. Say so. again, sorry. You're going to get the Warcry band when it comes out. I don't know. I've got lots of the. I brought a lot of the cards when they came out for the other armies. Yeah. So I've got, I've already got like the um, Stormcast Eternals, the Grots, two Nurgle armies. So I don't think I really need a Warcry army as such. Warcry Warband. Another one. Haven't you got all of them anyway, or is that just the Shades by you've got everything? That's just the Shades by. <laughs> you've got Shades by issues, Dan. <laughs> you've got to get all the cards. That's, that's, that's where they got you. You've, you've got to get exactly. all the cards. Exactly. Like, like you Pokemon. do realise this is what I'm not Pokemon. You don't have to collect them all down. <laughs> this is a... And they look amazing. <laughs> Love it. I, I'm just, I was looking at, uh, looking at all the Blood Bowl teams again. Oh, they're so pretty. Um, especially now my kids have got a team each. Um, I've got to teach them how to play Blood Bowl. Yeah, I, 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 I decided to repaint my Elven Union uh, for my Blood Bowl. Dan, how can you repaint them if they're black? You literally, you'd undercoat them, you haven't painted them. So you're not repainting them, you just paint them. I've base coated them in the Gracie, so I can do them in contrast, it's a bit easier. Okay. I love contrast, best thing for Warhammer this last year. So make it quick. Basically, you, you painted them by changing them from black undercoat to white yeah. undercoat. Yeah. Race bone, race bone, get it right. <laughs> so, I don't know. I haven't used any of these contrasts to be honest. I still think it's cheating. Oh, oh here we go. It starts with Age of Sigma. Oh, it's not in. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Right, so uh, we'll go over all some of what you guys are going to chat about. 
Oh, look at that! Oh, what's this? Oh, damn I think you're right. Who's, who said Gargans? Gargans, oh, yes, they look wow. amazing. Hang on a sec. I should. Uh, oh, they share look amazing. The there we go. Well, I've got it right now. Oh, oh, that looks epic. That. oh they look brilliant. <coughs> so, Dan, is this going to be your next army? I want to see mine. Son, do you know what? That's an that's an army I could get on board with because I might actually finish painting it. Yeah, that looks amazing. Um, yeah, they look so epic. good. <laughs> that dude looks pretty awesome. That's what they say. I can't believe how big they are, actually. You can, if you look at them compared to the other Gargan, they're about twice the size. Yeah, definitely. They're awesome. God. They're two attractive dudes. I know. Yeah, that... Mate, I could... What I want to know is how many how how many points they are to get in the list. Because I, I guarantee you're going to be over a thousand points, aren't they? I reckon it's going to be two uh, for for a thousand points. It's going to be a leader and two giants. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And then you're going to fill it out with the old gargants' battle line, maybe. Possibly, or even just the gargants themselves are going to be battle line. You know, just as long as you've got a, just as long as you've got a hero. Like the trolls, yeah. just as long as you've got the uh, dank, dank old trogger, he makes the the uh, rock guts and fellwater yeah. trolls battle line. So I think it's going to be a similar thing. Yeah. Oh, right, oh. So I just heard that these are called mega gargants. I've uh, I've hit an issue, <laughs> technical problem. <clears throat> let's uh, let's see what's happened there. Oh, oh yeah, they, they are oh, double the size. They are. They're literally twice the size of the normal gargants. That's insane. Let's see what's gone on there. Close that. Oh, yeah. I think we're all going to definitely have to get some of these. They're huge. They're so big. What's going on there? Uh, Mega gargant. Why am I getting a purge out there? Right. Let's They're going to be massive. Oh, here we go. Right, <clears throat> excuse me. Let me get this back in. There you go, a size comparison. Oh, they're so nice. I, I, I can't wait to paint one of these. I think this will definitely kind of get me back into playing Age of Sigmar again, I think. Get yeah. a few of these kicking around the board. Mate, that's, that's epic. I like the size of that. Mate, if you think about that little one, so that's already. You you can see a, a normal size human in the bag of the side of the gargan. Just the size of that mega gargan is insane. Mate, that's gonna be amazing. Well, can you have this one kit to and everything then? The, the same there, you're going to get multiple options for the stuff. Ah, oh, look at that. Um, so you get just buy one gargan box and then you get the rest. Mm. So, so this one's the gate breaker. It's really nice, isn't it? The mod the models are getting a lot better. Yeah, that's so nice. What size base is that? I just like looking at what the little details they got, like the different shields from different factions and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, it's even got like a chaos shield and yeah. So are these going to be uh, destruction, are they, or? I believe, well, I don't know, is it going to be chaos? Is it, oh, in fact, I'm not sure, actually. Oh, that one's beautiful. That's cool. Yeah, they did it. Epic. So different than the old Gargans, such a good, such a good sculpt. I do like the fact that he's holding a, a little guy in his hand as well, it's just like, yeah, I'm going to smash you up. <laughs> yeah, I think he's holding a couple of guys, isn't he? I think there's like an extra hand coming out of there. I think that's just one guy, uh, dead centre, isn't it? In his right hands. Mm. Oh, that's amazing. So, what do you reckon the uh, the rules for the weapons are going to be then? He's got to do some serious damage, I would have thought. Oh, you've got to have a swing to die profile to be like a smash profile and like a sweeping one, um, and then have. Do you reckon it'll be some kind of stomp? 
Ooh. I'm guessing so. Oh, I looked at that one as well. That's, so this one's the Kraken Eater. That's we're looking at. That's flipping on. Kraken Eater. Hmm. Yeah, I agree. That nautical theme is really nice as well. Could yeah. you make an army out of just one type, do you reckon? Or, and then maybe just trying to like put the similar weapons on, but then change the poses, maybe? Possibly. Oh, that's so good. Oh, he's got a boat on his back as well. <laughs> I, I, I like the cannon club. That, that looks pretty cool. There's so much scope there. <laughs> yeah, There's some kind of like shooting rule with it. Where it blows up on it. Oh yeah, yeah. On yeah. Like yeah. I'm, gu I'm guessing they're definitely going to have like the gold pools, so like they can pick a model, and if they roll above the wound characteristic, you'll just instantly die. I can imagine they'll still have that. Um, yeah. I, I so nice. Do you reckon they'll have um, some kind of like gobble rule where he eats it? Mm. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> He's scoffing away there, Rich. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit. Sorry, guys. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, look at that. Yeah, he's got a little portcullis. There's a loincloth down there, look. That's cool. You can just imagine him smashing through like a town, can you? Looks amazing. Mate, I'm, I'm, I'm actually scared. My city's, my city's army's quite scared now, because I reckon these are just... <laughs> oh, mate, what is going on with my internet? <clears throat> my browser <laughs> is killing me. <laughs> oh, no. <sighs> Curse you. Stop yeah, I think it's crazy like the, the difference in all of the three of the kits. Like normally with like say like the Keeper of Secrets or the Great and Clean one, they all kind of look relatively similar, but these are completely different, even though they, they all do, don't they? Box. Like the Great and Clean ones is just literally an arm change and a head change, and that's it. Whereas these ones do look really, really different. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's like with obviously with the Keeper of Secrets with like the shellapsy compared to them, that's it, you just a head change mm. and a spear. Whereas these just look like completely different models. Really, really nice. Really well done. Right, I've did. Games Workshop are really pulling out the bag with these ones. Oh, I've only just noticed. He's got one of the uh, one of the um, the turtle shells on his stomach. That from the uh, other <laughs> Netflix. <Netflix-y. laughs> oh, he has. Yeah, hey. You seen the um, uh, the corn one there? What's what's yeah. that down there? Is that like a Wood Elf logo or something? Can't quite see. <clears throat> No. Oh, mate, that's cool. Mm, yeah, I really like them. Just, I was just saying there, you can just make an army out of just these guys. Oh, really? Oh, that's me. I won't yeah. just have to run keep secrets anymore. I could just run an army of these. <laughs> right, Richie, you know that uh, City of Sigma army? That's going on eBay, and I'm buying these. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I think everyone's going to be buying these, they're beautiful aren't they? Can you yeah, imagine like awesome. all the blends you could do, the skin tones? Oh, amazing. Mate, it's beautiful. I can't wait to see what Tony does with them. Because he does some fantastic mm. um, skin transitions, doesn't he? Oh yeah, yeah definitely. These will be really nice for Tony's style of painting. Yeah. Oh, you're definitely going to see some of these in Golden Demon next year, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, these 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 be the winners. All the always always the new model is gonna win. Hmm. Yeah. Ah, oh, we got proper like new model syndrome going on now. Like I just won with these. <laughs> it's so nice. Do you reckon you can run these as mercenaries with um, in a different army? I suppose you could do. Just take them as an ally. We certainly you can ally them into your army. Oh, that's cool. Although I, I think this one needs to be got, quite nice. I suppose. Hmm, yeah. What's, what's that tentacle he's got hanging off? Is that from the, um... Oh, what's it, the Well, this one's the Kraken Eater, so I can imagine that's just a bit of the Kraken, I think. Yeah. He's had a bit of a scoff. Just random bits of mythical fish, isn't it? Hey, and I, yeah. He's like your anti Sigma sort of land strider type one, isn't he? On this one here, on his belly, you want to make that into a prance and pony kind of pub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on, let's see the fellowship get through that. Yeah. Oh, can you imagine a little hobbit model next to that? It'd be so tiny, wouldn't it? <laughs> you'd, you'd have to do it as a squashed hobbit under his toe or something. Hmm. 
Yeah, definitely. I think if I got these, I'd want to get, you know, can you remember the old Empire Running Man that you used to be yes. able to get with the old yeah. drive kit? Just want to put one of them on each one of the bases, <laughs> wouldn't you? So you've got loads of little guys running away from them. Just running away. Ah, uh, yeah, these are so nice. Like, the, yeah. um, I've always said that the Keeper of Secrets has been my favourite, like, big monster sculpt. I think these have kind of just clinched, just passed that. These are absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Hey, if you if you if you knock these out like you did your keepers, they're going to be some beautiful models. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously, like none of us are working at the moment, so I mean, no. well, these obviously won't be coming out till later on. But uh, if we're still stuck in this situation, we'll all have the time to put into them as well, won't we? That's it, isn't it? So, some um, places are still nice. open. I mean, I managed to get some blood bog stuff free. Um, yeah. Obviously, I don't know if Games Workshop will be releasing these anytime soon. I, c I can imagine not for a while. I know, it's going to be one of those. I'll be interested to see how it works post um, lockdown when everyone, when they get back to work. Um, oh, yeah. How they're going to release, stage their releases over the next sort of six months to a year. Obviously, we've have... reached our time limit. Say again? We've reached our time limit on Zoom or something. Have no, we? mine just said we no longer have a time limit. Oh, okay, fair enough. Oh, what? I could go with that. Well, it's still recording. Yeah. yeah. I like the uh, I like the stone wrapped around like loads of trees. It's really nice. Yeah, the stone at the, at the top, <clears throat> sort of chained in, and that's mm. pretty cool. Ah, uh, it looks so good. But he's got shields everywhere. I've just noticed up his right arm, he's got another two shields strapped on, as well as one on his belly. Mm. Yeah, so like this one they're showing now, I think this one's the Gatebreaker one, isn't it? So I'm guessing this one will be like the really heavily attack one, but obviously not yeah, much armor. Yeah, this one here now, this is the Gatebreaker. Yeah, so this one will be like the high damage. Um, I wonder if it'd be worth just taking an army of just these. Mm. Well, they're, they're, they're like just the one type of giant. Just these guys. Um, yeah. So presumably this guy will have like low, low attacks, but but high damage, like you were saying. Oh, yeah. I, I can imagine the damage is at least five. Um, yeah. So he's probably going to have, I reckon, about three different attacks. So it'll probably be a bite attack, a kick attack, and a, and a main attack, I would have thought. And then the main attack's going to be at least, like, two or three attacks, five damage each. Do you reckon they'll, um, they'll be good enough to take on your uh, keepers? Um, I mean, if, if they can weather the attacks coming into them, maybe... Uh, they've potentially got something, I mean, they could have something like hard skin or something to yeah. make it harder to hit them, possibly. They might have a stomp attack that means that you get to, like, attack first or the thing that you're going up against fights last. Because obviously yeah. we're in the activation wars at the moment, aren't we? So the Lumineth have got, they get to activate two units uh, before you can activate one. And then the Slanesh have obviously got... Uh, they they fight first, and the uh, flesh eater courts have got that. So we're in the slight activation wars at the moment. So it'd be interesting to see if the gargants have got something that can go against that as well. Yeah, that's. I think that's going to be the the thing. So fighting against Lanash is yeah. always trying to whether whether those after attacks, this video, lads, it's going to be the next reveal. Oh, hmm. <clears throat> I'm sure now I think they're watching the video. Look at the size difference, man. That's massive. That's the guy you're on about. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they look so good. I, I, I love that bag for the blokes. Which one's your favourite, guys? I think the gatekeeper's mine, I think. Really? I, I like the, um, oh, I'll sit the seagull. I like the Kraken Eater. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh blokes don't support us. Ooh. There we go. I haven't actually played any of this. I know a couple of guys in our group have gone. No, I haven't played it yet. I haven't played good, this though. yet. Oh, what's this? Oh, they look cool. What's this? Oh, they're massive. Oh, they're the bigger ones. They, these are already in it, but they're bigger ones. No, yeah, the little ones are in it. Oh, those the little ones are already in it. But the big ones are coming in. Ascension. Ooh, yeah, they're cool. Can you... Is he 740k? I think he can. Mm. Um, oh, didn't the release rules? Well, it was like Star Striders or something like that. 
for forty k. Oh yeah. Um, but it was it it was a bit off because you could only take them with themselves if that made sense. Um, so it was almost yeah. like you had to have them as a separate attachment to bolt onto your main army, uh, rather than being able to mm -hmm. seamlessly uh, bolt into a, any other army. Oh, okay. So this is the uh, this is the final uh, pack for Blackstone. So this is the um, like the last bosses for it. Is it? Oh, that's a shame. They're not going to. Uh... No, they must. They must be yeah. producing more for this. They've got it. They, they won't stop there. I don't know. They've um, they've just said that this is going to be the final uh, the final um, bit for your champions to do. So possibly, I don't know. Oh, It'd be a shame if it does finish now. Well, I suppose, you know, you look back at Space um, Space Crusade, they only released this, uh, I think it was three expansions for Space Crusade back in the day. Um, yeah. Same with like Hero Quest and that. <clears throat> so I suppose you've got a I think, I think they've run the it. fourth expansion, isn't it, for this? Is it? Oh, sorry. Yeah, they have some massive spindle drains, didn't they? They do. They look really cool. They do look very necrony. Hmm. Ah, so these ones are guardian drones then. Yeah. I mean, potentially, couldn't you kit bash them in some kind of like maybe Catan or some kind of like Necron construct? Potentially. You could you could roll those into an Eldar army. They're not quite Eldar, but they are. Um, you know that sort of shape, that natural shape. So I can a bit of kit right, bash. Them. Weird, isn't they? Get rid of the spindle legs. Put maybe a um, <clears throat> you know like a wraith guard uh, head on the front of that. Oh, Definitely what about them? That'd be kind of pyramids. Yeah, yeah. Possibly. Mm. It's a bit too robotic for tyrannids, isn't it? Well, no. I don't know. I think they, they were painted legs. in the same scheme as, say, like a behemoth or something. I think they'd look quite similar. I, I know what you could use them for, Richie. Mm. Uh, get loads of them. There's your arachnid army for heresy. Yeah, the Mega Rachnids. There you go. Mecha, were they, they were Mecha, weren't they? Mecha Rachnids. Yeah, that'd be, yeah, that'd be really cool. Get them playing against some Chris children. <laughs> that'd be good. Yeah, these, yeah, these are really cool. Actually. So are those? Are they like guns going down the side of their their head? It looks like it. That's what it looks like. It looks like um, almost like Hurricane Bolt type. Hmm. That's the problem. I've never yeah, I, I can imagine that they're yet. pretty hard to kill for just all. So how many guys do you even run in Blackstone Fortress? Say again. How many guys do you even have in Blackstone Fortress? I don't you know. Just, I don't know. Don't you just have one? A bit like um, when we were playing... What, oh yeah, I suppose it's just Hero one. Quest, isn't it? Yeah. When we were playing Warhammer Quest, you have a single character that you fight through uh, with. Hmm. So it's, it's just it's just like that. Because there's one you can get um, uh, a robot from way back. Uh, he's up to his own things. He's like almost self-aware. So I read a bit of fluff on it, and it, it sounded really cool. It was like flirting with heresy. <laughs> yeah, cool. I like the uh, I like the fact he's just said that the uh, the first Blackstone Fortress quest when you're just running around jollily killing the. Uh, the space marines and the the cultists they're having a good old time and then by the time they get to this point this is where it's actually quite dangerous and these are like quite quite strong and hard to kill they, they do look it to be better they do look quite ominous looks, looks definitely awesome ominous <laughs> <laughs> damn that sound is so perverted oh yes oh, oh yes ominous so if you me right so going off the, the screen they had before, um, we've done the AOS, they've done the Blackstone, so have that up. So we'll get a War Cry, a Blood Bowl, and a 40k as well, and a Heresy. Uh, oh yeah, game. definitely. That'd be quite cool. I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see, well, be interesting to see if they do any new... Be interested to see if they do any new Heresy releases, because obviously we had the Lion, we've had those two uh, Word Bearer characters. Yeah. Um, from later on in the heresy, so you look a bit more heretic now. Um, I, I am hoping for a big 40k reveal because we've got two Age of Sigmar armies now, and these are brand new armies. So, yeah. I'm hoping for something good. A new army? 
What new army they're going to create? Not that I am actually a 40k player, though. It'd be nice to, be nice to see. You love it, Richie. You love it. So you, Dan, just won't admit it. You've got... To be the emperor. For those of you that don't know, Dan's got a bit of a love-hate relationship with uh, Warhammer 40k. Um, he sort of loves it for five minutes, buys everything, and then five minutes later he hates it, sells everything, um, and then five minutes again he's buying back what he just sold. <laughs> I, th I think everyone's got a love-hate relationship with well, any uh, Warhammer, I think. Like, yeah. you, you want to love it and you want to hate it at the same time. <laughs> I think that's the thing, because we're all so invested in the game system itself, and we love the lore and everything, but you do get so wrapped up in you, god damn it, that's why we always have these rage quits. Um, <laughs> <laughs> exactly, like, I mean, uh, I, I think we all rage quit like at least once or twice a year, don't we, for like oh, at least yeah, a couple definitely. weeks. But that's, that's why you play all the different systems, so then when you rage quit one, you can roll on to the next one, and then when you rage quit that, you go back to the previous one. Yeah, what you exactly. don't do. I think I had, uh, what you don't do. Yeah, I think I had behind you. You swing it all in the fire. Uh, that was a full on. There's a little tip name there. behind you. There's a little tip behind you, behind Richie's right shoulder, about what he's kind of painting at the moment. Oh yeah, it's the little one up here. Yeah. I can't. A little, see a little mastodon. I see a little one. Yeah, only a little, 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 little mastodon. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Right, I haven't played any Blackstone. Um, I'm just going to pop for a second, and I will be back in a second. I'll catch you guys in there. Yeah, no worries, mate. I think they're going to talk about this one for a while. Um, I've never played it. I know Dave's got it, one of the other guys, yeah. but I've, I've never ever played it. But the thing is, this, the isn't, this really nice. isn't it gridded like um, Blood Bowl and um, ah, flipping egg words? It's gone. just like Hero Quest. Hero Quest. Um, it's just like Hero Quest, but with a different. Yeah. So this this is perfect for for sort of lockdown, where you can play like a gritty game like this, and you just number mm. them and uh, and letter them, and you go right. I'm yeah. going to you know A five, but like you know when you play chess. As long as you've both got um, a set, it makes it a bit more interactive. I suppose you could do it oh, with one person. Next review is coming up. Um, oh, hello, Fergus. <laughs> next reveal's coming up. Okay. Was it? What do you oh, I can't wait to see this one. I'll tell you what, that bloody Age of Sigma reveal was amazing, wasn't it? How's it going, mate? I'm liking that. Yeah, they do look good, don't they? Beautiful. Might have to, uh, might have to get this actually. It does look quite good. I'll say, Richie, it's perfect game for playing during lockdown because you, it's all gridded. Yeah, yeah, that's potentially a good plan. That's a good shot, actually. So we play by Skype, like Dan and I did with Blood Bowl the other night. Um, mm. Oh, are we having a break? Are we? Are we on a break now? Are we? Looks like we did it. say the video is going to be coming straight on after. <laughs> Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, Warcry. Warcry. I'm not. Oh, oh, I'm really yeah. interested to see what's coming for these, actually. It's oh. your bad, Dan. Oh, look who it is. Oh, that's Ooh, nice. Wow. Oh, he's, yeah, that's cool. Oh. Yeah, they look cool. Is there only three guys in that? Wall I can see a single model in my uh, my one. I think my uh, my internet's acting up. Hmm. I just saw some shadows. So you're gonna get yeah, some. Yeah, they're, uh, they're really really cool. You're gonna get some kinky girls then, Dan. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I definitely think uh, a few of us will be getting some of them. I think definitely like Matt's gonna be getting them. They, they look yeah. amazing, don't they? They're really mm. cool. I don't know what that first one was. Is that like a sorceress or a hag, maybe? For the, no, no, uh, it didn't have a face. Hmm. It looks like, um, can you remember the, uh, what was the seer from uh, Silver Tower? She didn't have a face either, did she? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know what you mean. Hmm. 
I have just seen Matt posted in the uh, in the group chat that he wants them. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, go to that. She looks really cool. Yeah, they're awesome. So is that the size of the warband then? Is it just three? More like a shashi, like they? Eight, aren't they? Mm. That looks like it could repeat a crossbow, doesn't it? Because you've got the um, the drum underneath. So that'd be interesting yeah. to see how that plays out. Yeah, these are so cool. They're definitely picking up on the evil side of the uh, the dark elves here, aren't they? Hundred yeah. percent. They're definitely dark elves. Hundred percent. I like the way that they've kind of mashed them up into the new Age of Sigma aesthetic as well. So you can definitely tell they're like the realm of shadow compared to the old world. They've definitely got that new world feel about them. Like the uh, like they can mash up quite well with the uh, the Deep Kin and the uh, Luminef. Elves as well. They they look really nice. I really like the the aesthetic of them. Mist Weaver took me about five minutes to catch up with, but uh, Silver Tower. It's Mist Weaver, isn't it? That was the name yeah. of the character. I tell you what, that guy's definitely been doing his setups as well, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> He's been locked down for six weeks. Like he has. <laughs> nah, we've got a different kind of six pack uh, during lockdown. Ooh, boys. <laughs> Not when you start drinking at lunchtime, you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are really cool. Yeah, it'd be interesting, isn't it? Do you reckon these are going to be used with the daughters of Cain? Because obviously we've got. We've got a man in this, not to be uh, not to be sexist at all, but uh, I don't know. Is he going to be classed as the son of Cain? Is he? Or I know there's two men there, isn't it? No, I think the other one's a woman as well. I think so. I think it's just one man. I think they're assassins, mate. I think they're a dark elf assassins. But obviously, there's no dark elf faction anymore. There's just the daughters of Cain at the moment. I don't think they're going to be bringing out a new faction just because there's a, a warband faction. Well, they were doing that on Shakespeare. What with? Goblins. Oh, yeah, I suppose. Okay. Goblins, Death, they, they had uh, Night Horn models in Shakespeare mm. before they had the the book out. What did, okay. what did they call well, it? So they're just saying that these are the forces of shadow for the war bands. So we had the forces of fire last week. Um, so this one's shadow. So we could get light potentially in the future as well. So that could be quite cool. So like the uh, the forces of Giran and stuff. So that could be mm. cool. I like how you know the geography of Age of Sigmar better than you do uh, the UK. You what, mate? I like how you know the geography of, of the mortal realms better than you do the UK. <laughs> yeah, that's only because I like to use the uh, the realm spells and the realm features in uh, <laughs> tournaments, though. <laughs> How'd you get to Birmingham? I don't know. Where's Garan? Well, that is in the realm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and Haitian. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, they've, the, uh, they've done the warband for Shaish as well. Um, it, it's really cool, actually. I really like these. Uh, this isn't the entire warband, so this is only a, a slight amount of them. So I'm really interested to see what the rest of them are. I can imagine a couple of witch elves, do you reckon? Maybe a Valkyrie. Have they just said that this this is this is preview of the? Uh... Yeah, so this is only three of them. I think there's going to be a few more. Um, be interesting to see. Do you reckon they're going to put one of the snakes in as well? I, I can imagine so. There's definitely going to be at least two witch elves in this. I reckon. Yeah. They do look like assassins. Out. It could be just more assassiny. I don't know. I don't know because there wasn't witch elf on the uh, on the video coming in. So. And that was definitely that Marathi voice talking, because I can remember it from when the Daughters of Cain got, uh, got dropped. Mm. I t I'll tell you what, those cloaks, they could definitely do some crazy stuff on them. Yeah, they're really nice, aren't they? I like the way this cloak at the bottom and the front, it sort of seems to be coming off the staff. Yeah, I like that. Oh yeah, the cloak's connected to the staff, actually. That's really cool. So it looks like it's all like, you know, one yeah i really like that I, the other thing as well i'm getting serious van helsing vibes from that guy's repeated crossbows <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 
Yeah. You can see why they've said, you know, Realm of Shadows. It does look like those those cloaks are just like part of that sort of ethereal piece. Yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. It's like the uh, it's like the assassin's cloak on the far right hand side. So like that one's like yeah. going up into her hand and it looks like it's kind of growing and she's kind of pulling it to make it bigger as well, rather than just yeah. pulling it around herself. Yeah, that's cool. So I like that. that. It's, it's almost like way. using the, the, the realm to create the the shadows. I'm saying, do you reckon they'll be able to project that then to, put, to affect the game? So rather uh, than... I, I can imagine there'll definitely be a rule for that. Um, definitely. That'd be quite Maybe cool. harder to hit or harder yeah. to, to wound, possibly. Um, it'd be interesting to see what the, the Age of Sigma rules for them are compared mm. to the, the, the Warcry rules. I know normally the Warcry stuff into Age of Sigma doesn't have the best rule set, but these could. I mean, you don't know. Like, they could break the mold with these and actually do a good set of rules. Like, they do look like they could be really good when used in the Age of Sigma game. Yep. I'm, I'm just looking at all the detail. Like, even, even, even off uh, Spear, it's got the, the little... The little um, the jewel hanging off and part of the shadows coming off from the jewel as well I, there's so much detail on these it's unbelievable yeah no it's great it's good to see as well because these are almost like the complete opposite from like the luminette as well mm. aren't they so we've had oh here he is hello oh oh hello ah. yeah that's cool that's really cool uh, okay that's interesting, then. It looks like a, like the Lady of the Lake. Yeah. So, so what you're saying is, it, it, it looks like they're obviously all the elves are, are, are getting involved with their own their new worlds. So, do you reckon that's what they're going to yeah. do? Go down that route and sort of start theming all the elves based off the worlds they're living on. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I suppose they're trying to build it so it's almost like the old world, aren't they? So they've all got their own, they've all got their own feel, and you know exactly where someone comes from and. Yeah. exactly like how they're going to be from that realm and everything like that like, these are stunning that's a stunning model that's it looks almost like a renaissance painting with that that other face it looks amazing i do feel sorry for her though, to paint, though. <laughs> how come i'm gonna walk through a door with that belt on <laughs> yeah i don't think the girdles there I, I don't really like the girdles too much but the rest <laughs> of it's amazing i mean if i personally would probably click that off like I've just put my fingers over it on the screen, and I think if I click that off, that'd look like really nice, actually. I would hang Absolutely. two buckets off there and fill them with milk. <laughs> I wonder how many people are going to struggle at painting those faces coming through the cowl. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a series of glazes, that isn't it? I was just thinking, you, you know, you've got to build up the colour on the on the folds, and then um, try to get yeah. that subtle look on the face over the flesh. Yeah, you ain't gonna paint that with contrast, do you? No. I'm lucky Dan, you're not getting these. <laughs> yeah, I, I really like this. Airbrush, mate, it's the way forward. Well, that's cool. I like the um, the fact that they're, the cup's like using their emotions to create power, that's cool. So what they're showing this model for is it just literally to um just to show the way that the elves are going as such it's not another new preview is it oh the Dan, they showed this the other that, week didn't they so this model it basically what she does is if you've got to take a battle shock test on your unit you can force the enemy to take the battle shock test for you that's oh, well cool. yeah that's really cool unless you're playing against demons or undead i suppose <laughs> Nurgle. <laughs> oh, that, yeah, I hate playing your Nurgle, Nurgle Dan. You I love far too many fives. The far too many. So what's everyone feeling then? Is everyone feeling more the Luminath or more the the Sons of Behemoth? What's everyone feeling? I, I, I like those behemoths. They are proper awesome. Oh, they're, they're so good, aren't they? Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I do really like the uh, like the new Luminette stuff, but yeah. I think the Behemoth's got it for me at the moment. Definitely. The thing is, you know what will happen is we'll, we'll we'll go down the same route as we did with knights. Uh, I'll buy a knight army. I'll go. Oh yeah, I've only got like four models. 
I'll paint those up or not, or I'll get halfway through painting them as you do. And you go, actually, I need an infantry screen. And then go and buy like 40 Cadians, go, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I could imagine, the thing is, with these behemoths coming out, everyone's just going to gear up their armies to kill and to deal with the big things. So then it's going to go back to where the tournament scene was last year, when it was all teamed up to kill the Keepers of Secrets and the like the terror geists and all stuff like that. So it's going to go back to that again, I think. Um, oh, so they're going to have a load of wounds, though. Yeah, definitely. But then again, it's going to make the new armies like the Lumineth and stuff even more powerful because everyone's going to be geared up to try and kill the big monsters. And then these armies where they're just kind of like a lot of infantry are going to come in and swamp the board. So like the, the Free Guild and the all the Lumineth. And although saying that, the big cows are out. It'll be interesting to see what the rules are for them. I like I like the new elf army. It's just a little bit too bovine for my... I, I don't get the cows, to be fair. Well, and you've got the fish from Deepkin. But they ride the fish. Ride yeah, the cows. can ride the cows, you don't know. <laughs> you know, they well, ride I, the I, fish. I missed the whole cows thing. Uh, I wasn't paying attention when that one came out. Oh, Did Simon, you should have been watching me. Was that preview two? Yeah, that was preview two. Oh, I'll have to go back and watch it then. I mean, I'll be yeah, honest, it's like 40k related, you know. <laughs> I tell you what, they're going to have to do a really good 40k reveal to appease the 40k players because there's this really nice Age of Sigma stuff revealed today. Yeah. I, I, I'm, Is it meant to be uh, a reveal tomorrow as well? I don't, I don't know. I don't, don't think so. Um, no, it's just might be sisters. Might be, might be some more stuff for the sisters. Because they're, they're well, they brought all that stuff out, haven't they? I'm hoping we get previewed uh, Fabius Biles' new uh, Chaos Primaris Marines. Oh, that'd yeah, be cool. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they, they did some teases for that, didn't they? Hmm. Yeah, mixed with the uh, Custodes, haven't they? Uh, it's the Custodes and Death Guard mixed together. So that'd be interesting. Yeah, yeah I, I do really like this model. It's got a real... Um, I, I want to say, like like early 20th century Dutch kind of feeling going on for me. You know, like sound music kind of... Oh, was that with all the embroidery around the uh, bottom of the um, dress? And it, you know what, that looks like... You yeah, know, I don't know, I'm, very just, very I'm just getting like a big vibe about that, it's weird. I, I'm getting a Queen Amidala from Star Wars um, vibe off that headpiece. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I see what you mean. Yeah. Dang, dangling down here. You just need like a little Anakin model to go next to it, don't you? To <laughs> act really badly next to it. What with his arms chopped off and his legs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She's got the high ground. He has... <laughs> yeah, I've, I've never understood that. <laughs> <laughs> what, the whole Star Wars thing? Or why he got his arms and legs chopped off? No, the, uh, the high ground. I just don't see... Because Jedi's can force jump. Like you see in the Clone yeah. Wars that Mace Windu jumps up onto a spaceship. It's just like, yeah. how does having the high ground make any difference when you can jump that high? <laughs> he cut his leg off. Right, anyway, back to Warhammer. Oh, it's been like, yeah, Warhammer, come on. Come on, stick with it. <laughs> well, you two stick with it. Oh. <laughs> so how do you reckon this is going to play in uh, Warcry then, Dan? Now, this is for the, uh, this this is is for the normal unit as well. Oh, okay. I thought we were on the war cry reveal. Potentially. The AOS reveal. I think they're just chucking it in to show you where elves are progressing to with how they okay. look. I'll how they it. follow the different realms that they're, they're based, if you know what I mean. So yeah. the other one's from, from shadow. These ones are from light. So it's just showing you the difference. I'm difference just, between I'm just them. showing my ignorance of AOS now. How much of a filthy character. AOS is beautiful. You say you got ignorance, but how much money have you spent on Age of Sigma? You've got two whole armies. Oh. oh. So the video first, and then the next reveal. Okay, yeah. there we go. See, they definitely got witch elves coming, 100%. Yeah. Yeah, stunning. Absolutely stunning. Pretty cool. I think this is the best reveal so far, I think. So e even so far, right? Oh, Blood Bowl, guys. Sorry, Blood you Bowl. this, mate. 
Oh, oh look at him. Who are these? Oh. Hey, <laughs> oh, it's awesome. <laughs> oh, look at that. Hey, that's going to be amazing. <laughs> oh, you've got to be able to I put think a on these team, guys. I might get these. These have got to be the dirty little fighters. Look at that thing. That's amazing. You're going to you're gonna have to buy yourself some uh, bribes for the ref, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, they look brilliant. Oh, mate, I, 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 so, clearly, Spotting. pogo legs is going to be, uh, is going to have long legs as a special rule. Uh, I don't know about <laughs> the ball, though. Reckon. That rock. What's going to go on with that thing? <laughs> That's amazing. That's oh, so good. They've got a proper old world aesthetic. Yeah, as well. Because that, that, yeah. that snotling thing is going to be like the death roller. You're like ninja to ninja to block, and you just get run over by it. Um, take a load of uh, bribes to the ref, and just keep that thing punching holes for you. Because otherwise, essentially, yeah. you've got a team of halflings there that are just going to get beaten up. Uh, especially by a strong team. You know, you get some of the uh, the Tomb Kings in there. Uh, whatever they renamed them as. Um, they're so strong. Uh, they'll, they'll just smash through you or an ogre team. You need you need something, some kind of real, real good secret weapon. So, do you reckon you wouldn't be running them as a team? Do you reckon you'd be adding these into, say, an ogre team, or would you just? Oh be no, they're definitely no, no, no. no, these these they're big teams on the team. right. But it's, you have to play them sort of similar to how you play uh, halflings. So you have to take like um, a big guy. Yeah. Uh, and then get round, yeah. beat up uh, one or two players, or, or kick them off the sideline into the crowds. Get yourself a hole, and then punch through it. You must really have to take a, a troll as well to, to to throw them over. Yeah, yeah. I can't um, imagine these are going to be great, are they? They're just have the comedy value, surely. No, they were just saying that the um, that they're not as good as uh, goblins. So that makes me think mm. that their agility is going to be quite low. So picking up and handling the ball is going to be an yeah. absolute nightmare. <clears throat> they're going to have stunty though. Weapon. No doubt they're going to have stunty. Yeah. So I, I like these uh, these oh, rocks are going to be these boulder things. That's got to be like almost like a bombardier rule, isn't it? Ah, oh, they've got a wizard. Yeah. They're a wizard, bottom left. So you can have wizards. Oh yeah. There. I like the guy that's wearing a sock for a hat. He's definitely a free elf. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be curious to see what these mushrooms are all about. Whether that's just for aesthetic or um, there's a rule with them. I can imagine they can eat the mushroom and then maybe get like an extra activation or something maybe, or an extra dice, possibly. Might be something to do if they blitz, they get an extra strength, you know, a bit like um, uh, beast men do with their, their horns. Yeah. Um, yeah. I really, really like how these are painted as well. They're painted a lot more with the kind of old style, you know, like we used to from about 10 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. I really, really like that. They're really nice. I, I, like, I like the guy in stilts. Really nostalgic fact, vibes. not even matching stilts. <laughs> I know. Yeah. yeah, they're cool. So I reckon these guys are going to be like strength two. Um, are they saying strength one? Wow. Hang on, what are these special rules? Ah, oh, so they're not stunty, they're titchy, guys. Titchy. Oh, my phone's gone off. Ah, so they've got swarming special rule as well, guys. That's interesting. So I'll, I'll be really ah, interested yeah, to see how that, those new rules play out. Mm. Oh yes, pump wagon. It's so cool. <laughs> That's great, and it's more like a moonstone model than a Warhammer model. It's, it's great. I, I love it. It's, it's such a nineties aesthetic. It's brilliant. It's so cool. That's brilliant. Has he got a yeah, like massive nostalgia when I first started collecting Warhammer. That is cool. It's, it's awesome. I love it. I love it. I'm just trying to pop that now. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Strength five. Mm. Although I would have thought with secret weapon it'd be stronger than that. 
maybe strength six or seven, because essentially it's a yeah. vehicle. So the thing is, you definitely need a few stuff. bribes when you're playing with that army, don't you? Yeah, there's going to be plenty of stuff that will put you on uh, equal blocking dice, though, because there's loads of stuff that's strength five. So, hmm. yeah, it's going to be, mm, yeah, lots of bribes, punch a hole, take out a critical player, you know, especially with someone like your elves, Dan, run over one of your um, your throwers or your catches. Hmm. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. So, how many, how, how, how much do you reckon each one of those is going to cost? But not, not the roller thing, the um, not the pump wagon, sorry, the guys. I reckon they're only going to be about, about like thirty grand each for a player. It's got to be cheap. Oh yeah, not even that. <coughs> like, well, I, I think I think goblins are um, or oh, gobos are uh, forty, aren't they? Yeah. So 20 or 30 grand each. But then what's their armour going to be? Because you're going to be, you're going to need to take so many reserves. You need to start with a team of 16. Uh, 16? Uh, a full, tip, full roster anyway. Um, just because the casualties you're going to take every single game. Yeah. Because you know their, um, their armour is going to be rubbish. Oh, ah, yeah, 100%. Um, yeah, team of 16. Really I think Simon's getting his dice in there too. So, because I haven't played much, Bubba, is the, is the maximum team size that you can take, is it 11, is it? 16. You've put 11 on the pitch once, but you have 16 on your roster. No, so you'd be definitely running 16 of these. Yeah. Hmm. What are they all about? If, if the miniature makers for Blood Bowl ever took Blood Bowl seriously, I'd be raging. It's got to be ridiculous. It's got to be funny. It's got to be stupid. <laughs> if they ever take oh, it seriously, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll quit it. We're going to play a serious game. Go and play AOS. Go and play 40k. Not Blood Bowl. Blood Bowl's far too much fun. I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> So you know the uh, you know the tree man that had a squirrel in it. I think the squirrel's yeah. probably about the same size as these, isn't it? Oh jeez, yeah. yeah. So what are they up? Those oh, these they are plastic as well, boys. Bases. So they must be about the same size as a um, as a halfling. Then. Oh, the pump wagons in the kit. Yeah, these are plastic. Nice. Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. I do. I, I really like these. I do really like them. Richie, you need to buy these, um, mate. We'll lend you a team so you can learn. <laughs> yeah, I, that, I do really like these. They're not really like the, the kind of punch that I could probably be used to, but I think for just the hilarity, I think they'd be really good. Yeah, mate. Yeah, it's not, not, not normally like your normal standard army of point and click, Richie. I need, to, I need to fight ah, first. I ah. need to kill everything in one, one turn. I said, game turn two, game over. I've wiped the floor with everybody. Now nah. it's the way you win tournaments, guys. <laughs> I know that's why you win tournaments. We don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one more. Oh, exactly. I, 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 I think like my favourite one, one out of these, I think, is definitely the guy with the sock on his foot. One, one sock. Yeah, he 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 almost looks like he should have a, a pair of glasses on. You know, the old boy glasses. But it's, uh, I realise it's a little plaster, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, the, the one in the top left-hand corner, the guy blowing the horn, like yeah. that honestly looks like that was robbed from a sculpt from the 70s. Mate, it's great, yeah. isn't it? It's, it's got, even got that horn, you know, where they blanked it off with all the weapons and, <laughs> yeah. and everything. It's just black surface. That looks like yeah. they've literally just gone, right, what old goblin sculpts have we got from when we first started sitting down? Yeah. Ah, here we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm still waiting for the new uh, new Chaos Dwarf ones to come out. That'd be really cool. I'm looking forward to that. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. I might actually get definitely the forward ones. I might actually get the old team painted by the time the new one comes out. Uh, 
I said that with my oh, words. I don't know. I wouldn't go that far. Ready for the next reveal. Oh, here we go. What's on next? Oh, yeah, these are real cool. That's flipping awesome. <laughs> they're great. <laughs> yeah, you can definitely take a troll with them. Can you, there'll be a Forge War troll for them coming out, I'm guessing, specifically. Well, they've, brought, they've already got trolls. Yeah, you won't get another Yeah, one. but that one looked like he's quite similar to them. Oh, what's it going to be? What are we getting now? They look cool. Ooh, Horace Heresy next, boys. Yeah. Ooh. Cool. Uh, all girls, all girls tall. Oh, it's going to be Soul Targets. It'd definitely be Soul Targets. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to think back to who was in the original book. My memory's not that good. Oh my god. No way! It's non Primark. No way! Yes, it's Thomas! <laughs> ah, right, that's it. My Empress children are getting redone as loyalist. <laughs> I thought you were painting them all as space rules again. Nah, nah, that's all my new stuff. Right, I'm getting oh, him. Cool. He's get oh, that's amazing. So you're going to have him, full grim, and what's for me, your uh, Terminators jump out of the back of a... Um, nah, full grim's dead and dunked, mate. So Targets <laughs> is going to be leading the uh, leading. Yes, mate. So cool. I've been waiting for Soul Targets for so long. Oh, just a captain. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, ah, oh, so cool. That looks amazing. Looks absolutely amazing. That's quite a cool model. This is cool. Do you think they're going to start redoing all of the characters then? Like maybe get like a Lucius? Possibly. You would have, well, you would have thought so. Um, have we got any of the Primarchs left to come out? No, yeah. I mean, he's had rules um, since the first book came out. He's just never had a model. Hmm. I know uh, my Raven Guard's still waiting for for some models, for some of our captains and stuff. Well, I can um, imagine they're going to come out now. They're going back and revisiting, so that's really cool. That'd be cool. I'd love to have an Argo, Argo Tal. Mm. Even though there's no rules for him. Right, I'm going to have to get my, uh, I have to get my finger out and get my uh, Horus Heresy army finished. Um, put more yes. black on it. Well, let's be fair, yeah, I, like Raven Guards, I can get away with just playing the back and like, there you go, Raven Guards. <laughs> yeah, you can definitely, mate. <laughs> do you reckon he's, oh, do you reckon he's got is... his name above him, just in case he forgets it? Well, I saw everyone around him can tell it's Tarvit, so I would have thought. Yeah. That's, like, oh, yeah, that's, 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 hand, that's hand painted on, that's not uh, sculpted in, I don't think. Hmm. I like his sword. Well, he's the uh, he's one of the best swordsmen in the galaxy. You know that um like the gold wing stuff he's got on his right um right forearm there. Do you reckon that's painted yeah. or like it's moulded in? Because it looks quite flat, doesn't it? Uh, it could potentially just be painted on actually. It doesn't look like it's that three D. No, because that's painted on, that's an awesome paint job. Hmm. Oh, I'm definitely going to be getting him. I think I'm going to change my Empress Children Force over to a Loyalist Force, I think, and get targets running them. Yeah. I thought you were going to say Shocking. Dirty... Uh, dirty Heritage. Oh, I don't know. It's targets though. targets is amazing. <laughs> Good old soul. I think what what split have we currently got in the club for uh, her, uh, heretics versus loyalists? You want mate? So what split have we currently got in the club for um, heretics loyalists? I think, um, I think it's more loyalist at the moment. I think. Yeah. Um, 
yeah, I think it's more loyalist. So I, mean, I don't know. I, maybe you could use a. I, I don't think you could use soul targets in a in a heris, in a heretic mm -hmm. army. But the thing uh, is, so I'd have to buy, use for that. But. If you buy them, you've got the option to switch between the two. Well, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. And course, I'm guessing like, some targets uh, would definitely fight against you, dirty, uh, you dirty raven guard, anyway. <laughs> oh, what are you trying to say? Well, just just because uh, we beat you in the last one. <laughs> yeah, you little emo boys. <laughs> I, I think majority the of the lads, as you said, they, they are loyalists, aren't they? Devastated. I think so, yeah. I mean, we've got like Death Guard player, and obviously you've got your word bearers and stuff. Yeah. Who's the Death Guard player? Um, is it Luke? Or is it Tom? I can't remember. No. Um, who is it? Tim, Tim plays Custodes, doesn't he? Yeah. 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 Yeah, because Tom Green. played Emperor's Children as well, so I can imagine Tom will be got in this. Rich plays um, Alf Legion. Ah, uh, he does, yeah. Or if he's not playing that, he plays a Warlord Titan. Yeah. That's it, Alpha Legion Warlord Titan. I know. Don't tell anybody. Ooh, he's Initiative 6, guys. That's oh, cool. is he? And he has a sniper rifle. Nice. That's cool. <laughs> so cool. So cool. That'll be cool. So you got five up from the uh, refractor fields. Specialist. Um, well, what? Do you reckon he'll be able to pick out independent characters in the squad then for that thing? Yeah, he's got who. He's gonna have like he's gonna have all of the um, specialist weapon rules and everything cool to go with the uh, sword as well, isn't he? Yeah. Is he in the fluff? Is he still alive? So it. Yeah. Uh, no, he does. Did dies, he die on he? Instagram? Yeah, he does, doesn't he? He gets killed by what's his name, doesn't he? Um. Oh, it's been spinning. He's just suffered the first couple of books, actually. Devastating. Yeah, because I know he beats, uh, he beats Lucius in a, in a duel, which is pretty cool. Yeah, Lucius, Lucius weren't happy about that. I love the fact we're all quiet for this one. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I keep on forgetting that um, Garrow is a... Uh, Death Guard. Death Guard. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's nuts, isn't it? Mm. He's definitely the most anti nerdal Death Guard of all time. <laughs> I know. I, I still want to get him. Um, and Rubius as well. That's the other one that I want to get. You need to see what happens to uh, all of the uh, the Knights Errant in the new book. Uh, is, is that the wall? Oh, ready? Oh, oh not the wall yet, yeah, boys. Oh, is this a new TV series? I don't know, I reckon Sisters. Oh, Necrons. 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 Who's that? Oh, that looks new. Ooh. I think it's the Silent King coming back, maybe? Hey. Oh, is that New Eldar as well? Is that Inquisition That's in the sisters. middle? Sisters in Inquisition, that. What? Sister on the left. There's an Eldar on the right as well. Space Marines are back in the background. Ooh. Ooh hello. Oh, Ooh, he's nice. Oh, and you start your awakening. 
There's ultramarines in yeah, that. Cool. Oh, yeah. oh, look at that. That's epic. Oh, that's so cool. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, that's really nice. Every Necron right. player in the world's just stood up for that, I reckon. <laughs> Mate, I like I like the fact that the Inquisition are getting a bit of loving because they always they never seem to get a, like a proper codex, proper book or anything. It's always just like a little bit of an update here, there, you know, maybe something published in White Dwarf. Yeah, well, the Necron players have been waiting years, haven't they? I mean, they haven't received anything new since the uh, Cryptek from Forge Bane, have they? No, 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 no. It's been ages. Well, that's that's a cool new character though for the Inquisition. I'll, I'll, I'll be interested yeah. to see how they, if they change the rules um, for Inquisition, or if they're just going to bolt them on. Because he's clearly in all those Enos. Uh, yeah, definitely. Really, uh, I like his little Lord of Dragons, because he's got that little thing dragon on his arm as well. Do you reckon he's like Inquisitor, like Stormborn or something? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's going to be cool. I'm just trying to remember yeah. what the all those Enos ones, they tend to have um, like alien technology and stuff, especially like the yeah. Eldar stuff. Um, so we look like I mean, like even the face looked alien. alien. Yeah, yeah. Even the face looked alien. Didn't look like human, to be honest. It, it might have some really, really cool little gadgets. Do you reckon it could potentially be? I know it hasn't happened since like maybe like the first edition 40k, like Rogue Trader. But do you reckon it could be half elf, half human? Mm. No, I'd have to have another look uh, at his face. Could be. But he wouldn't be in the Inquisition. They would, they would have bumped him off. Hmm. They would have got rid of him. Yeah. Even in the Ordo Xenos. I mean, you know. <laughs> they play, yeah, play, relax, play pretty relax. fast and loose with stuff. What was they saying there? Ah, so the prize is an anti-presence in the walk there. Ah, okay. okay. Uh, okay, Are they so going to be a new box set then? I'm guessing so. So they're going to have more than just one Inquisitor and one Necron? Well, well it'll be Necrons versus Sisters of Battle, but they'll have Inquisition with them, I would have thought. But did you not see at the back of the image you had Ultramarines as well? So they're going to have some stuff in there for Ultramarines. Bloody Ultramarines. <laughs> I know, Smurfs. Nobody likes Smurfs. Basic people do. <laughs> yes. Can't please everybody. <laughs> Why would you? I was sort of sanguineous at heart. I've been for years. All uh, right. So it's the Necrons are coming out and trying to just destroy the energy of the warp, are they? Or? Uh, cool. It'll be interesting to see what the new law for the Necrons is, actually. You know? I reckon the Silent King was going to wake up. Mm. You reckon? Yeah. I, I, I think they should. Yeah, I mean, we've got like we've got Primarch. So why can't the Silent King wake up? That's got to be an end times thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So obviously we've got the Silent King awakening it? now, and then I reckon after that potentially could be because um, obviously the uh, the Dan Admit books um, are based after the Psychic Awakening, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, are they? Are they? Yeah, so the, um, you know the books of Mortarion fighting against um, Gilliman? They're based no, after. No, those are before, mate. Those are before. No, they're based after. No, they're not. No, 100% they are, mate. They're, they're not based afterwards. afterwards. The Psychic Awakening is based before. Oh, mate, it's kind of like a weird... Uh... Oh, that's really cool. Is that, a, is that a psycho he's ripping? Yeah, I think so. That's really cool. That is yeah, that's definitely cool. the nicest Necron yeah. model. He's shooting him, isn't he? It's like a, a laser beam or whatever coming out at the end of the, hmm. uh, the staff. Oh, that weapon's insane. So is he just stripping the flesh from all of the psychers and his ease, I reckon? Yeah. 
Well, it looks like. He's... You can see he's stripping his essence out. Oh, that's going to hurt. <laughs> yeah, I think I think he's probably like going to be dead in about a matter of seconds. I think. Mate, yeah. that's, that's that's a bad day of work. That is. <laughs> He is a lovely model. Yeah, that's that's beautiful. That is. That's the eat. I think they should do like a full redo of the Necron range. I mean, can you imagine a full range looking like that? It'd be insane, wouldn't it? Yeah. I mean, think think about what this is for the game, though, and for the for the law. The Necrons, rather than just like laying there dormant, is they're actively coming out now to to take down them, um, take down the wall. That's gonna hmm. that's gonna change the way the whole arc of forty k. You think oh, about yeah, where they came exactly. from originally, um, you know, when they harnessed the Catans, which is essentially they're God. Um, me, if, if they go full retards, um, I, I think there's going to be a massive change. Oh, what's this? Oh, yeah, definitely. Wow. So, Ooh. yeah. Ooh, Jeez. <clears throat> yeah, but that's only got a range of nine inches, so that's not too bad. When you think about a 40k game, um, you know, you're, you're, it's normally a shooting game. Unless you're forced I suppose you could just it. kind of throw him forwards, bubble wrap him. Yeah. Because obviously the Necrons are good at screening, because you've got to kill the entire unit before they all die anyway. So you could screen him really well with loads of warriors, throw him forwards at like a psycho hero, or if you've got a full psycho force, like the, know, um, that'd be really good against Grey Knights, for instance. Um, Offensive psychers, though. Most, most people just use them to buff units. Um, what about Grey Knights? Uh, yeah, Grey Knights, actually. That'll be a big big thing here. No one person's going to complain about that. But you've got all your shooting to do, contend with as well. Um, where we will screw up people is stuff like the Librarian Dreadnought for the Blood Angels. Mm. It'll, it'll take that out. Um, especially when you're trying to get a couple of uh, psychic, psychic powers off the turn. Yeah, exactly, and like the Primarchs as well, so like Mortarion and or like the uh, the Demon yeah. Princes as well. Um, or say if you're playing against like a Zeech force, that'd be really good against Zeech. Actually, yeah. Okay, I'll take back what I said. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that back. <laughs> yeah, I think there's definitely a few armies that he's going to be really good against. So like the Grey Knights and yeah. Zeech, definitely. Like, mm. can you imagine like all the Grey Knights units using uh, Smite and then rolling doubles? It's going to be terrible for them. Oh, it's going to work. Hang on, don't, um, don't they only do it on one dice? The uh, Grey Knights. Uh, Alex, he plays Grey Knights. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I've been playing against them for eight, nine months. I think so that's not the, the, their smites. Is it like for the normal units? Yeah. That's definitely got to be some kind of elf. It's got elf tech. There we go. Oh, he does. Yeah, you're right. He does look quite elfish, doesn't he? Does a little bit. That high cheekbones and that. Oh, look at the weapon as well. Yeah, yeah I said that was, um, uh, was it Shuriken Catapult? Or the big Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, I know. That's definitely an elf. I think Simon's watching a different video to us. That's a woman. Hey, mine's mine's gone a bit. Yeah, I, I lost me uh, thing. Hang on. Just stop my share. There we go. This is really frustrating. It keeps dropping out. I have to watch the advert to get back into the uh, the live stream. Oh no, man. I oh, know. I'll tell you what, that is definitely quite a lot of elf tech going on here. Obviously, Ordo Xenos, so she's been using a lot of uh, elven tech, do you reckon? As I uh, said, it was a she, so yeah. <laughs> so, purified the, uh, the Xeno weapon as well. Yeah. Looks like Daenerys, Stormborn, Mother of Dragons as well, <laughs> doesn't it? Yeah. Do you reckon that's where they're taking the inspiration from? 
Maybe. Oh, come on. Technological issues. I'm having, I'm having issues here, gents. Ah, sorry, just put it back over at the end. I mean, to just get to see Richie's pretty face all the time now. Yeah, this is it. I'll tell you what, though, if they start doing power armor like that, that's the really nice power armor. Mm -hmm. It's quite, uh, it's quite it's chunky, really nice. Yeah, that's almost like, to be honest, if you took the weapon away from that, you could almost say that that was an Age of Sigma armor. Mm. Apart from the backpack. Well, yeah. I'm surprised the Inquisition's actually uh, letting it use all that stuff, really. Well, uh, all those Xenos. Yeah. Yeah. Xenos is a bit different. There we go. That looks so good. I really like that. I, I would really be great this model, actually. I like the fact she's got a purity seal on the uh, <laughs> on the Xenos gun. <laughs> I'd say that's probably the only human ever to use a shuriken catapult, isn't it? Yep. No, all, all the um, all the Xenos. I'm sure they can take um, stuff like that. Think a if not in the current edition, there was. Um, oh, it might have been a couple of editions ago. We could get splinter. Uh, Shuriken catapults and stuff for your uh, Xenos uh, Inquisitors. So the little dragon's called a wave rack then. <laughs> that's, cool. Is that, that's a power <laughs> thing as well. So if she's got a power fish, that means she's going to be uh, strength six in close combat. Because she'll only be strength three base. Yeah. I don't know, it could be more than that. It could be um, strength times two plus one, maybe, or... Nah, they won't, they won't do that, not for a power fist. Um, it would just be a standard power fist. Um, if, if they do a modifier for it, I suspect it'll be... Um, there's no... What's it? Negative modifier to hit? Because normally it's minus one to hit with yeah. a power fist. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, she's going to struggle to hit stuff while the dragon's sitting on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that's, that's clearly going to be some kind really of like piece. I'm, I'm going to say uh, five up in roll, um, standard power fist. With shuriken catapult, and then that bird thing will be a a bit like uh, what's his name, Psyker Eagle, um, where it's like a, a twelve inch shooting attack, um, sort of a pistol type thing. So she can use it in close combat. Strength three. Is that what yeah. I said? Is it? No, no, because it's human. All right, she she'll be strength three. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I tell you what, though, I mean, like, however good this model looks, it's all about that Necron model. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, that Necron is beautiful. They need to do something with the uh, Inquisitors to make them make them more competitive. Oh, look at it. It's so nice. That, um, that head on it. Reminds me, have you seen the Forge World Knight Heads, where it's just got them like Cyclops, um, Cyclops Eye? Hmm. Yeah, it looks really cool. Like the paint jobs on them are really good as well. I really like the paint jobs. Yeah, just saying that this does happen after the Gulliver thing, because they're all they're all just finishing fighting chaos at the moment. Oh, okay. So we just finished fighting Chaos, now we've got to fight the Necrons. Yep. New reveals on a different topic. Oh, okay. Ooh. Interesting. 
now. So this is the uh, Nacon video again. Yeah. Yeah. So look in the background in this video. You see the um, you see this Ultramarines on the right side. That's your obviously that's your Inquisitor. Yeah, so this is all going on before the uh, Indomitus Crusade. Yeah. No, mate, this is afterwards. Is that no, that's what they just did. What, so is this based after the Psychic Awakening then, is it? Or is yeah. the Psychic Awakening yeah, that, that happens Oh, you've got before. Knights in there as well. Knights at the back left. Oh, I get it. Ultra Sisters Marines. Right. Ultras. Who is this guy with the twin swords, though? That's what I want to know. Who's he? Hmm. That's a new guy that they revealed last week. Was it? Yep. I should probably go back and uh, watch the second video then. I might sound like I know what I'm you know. This is you know the sisters of battle they had jumping down. Yeah. That was the other guy that they revealed with her. Ah, uh, right. Okay. Pariah. Interesting. Right. Look at that. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on, be our just be a starties. Oh, so this is about the uh, TV program, is it? I think so, yeah. <clears throat> Gotta love that sister's battle. Oh, I've yeah, got to definitely. love that nuns with guns. <clears throat> <laughs> seen much about this to be honest have you guys seen anything about it much or no mate no so who's just saying there all they know is the uh is the characters that's it hmm. Hmm. agatha Ah, yeah, that's really cool, actually. <gasps> Technological issues again. Are you guys excited about the uh, the new sister story? No, mm, not not cool, bothered man. about it. I'll, I'll be really no, interested I, to see what it looks like when it come, all comes out. I think it'd be cool to watch, but I'm not too excited about it at the moment. To be fair, yeah. I think if we get some action shots, you know, uh, a couple of second clips. I think that'll be a bit more, a bit more interesting to see than just the character. Yeah, I think so. Character cards. I mean, yeah, I think it'd be definitely better to see some clips rather than just kind of like pictures from an upcoming TV program. I think. Yeah, I know. It's frustrating. Did you see the um, the comic they did with Titan Comics? Uh, I'm sure they did. No, that. I didn't. Was it good? Yeah, it looked looked really really cool. I got the first um, the first book um, comic. Sorry. But after that, I, it was one of those, I was going through a phase of trying to actually keep up with everything. And um, it was just something I wasn't that yeah. interested in to keep up with, but it looked awesome. And this has got a similar sort of um, look and feel to it. Yeah. Like the, the stylistically, it does look really cool. Yeah. 
So I wonder if they've um, they've pilfered some of the artists from um, Titan Comics and brought them over into Storyforge in order to draw all this. It would have been nice to see a bit of um, like moving action from it. I think. Yeah. Yeah. One hundred percent. You know what Yushin reminds me of? Um, ah, what was it? Space, you know, space balls. You got the dog. Uh, was it Patch's his name? Was yeah. it something like that with the eye? <laughs> oh, me yeah, of. yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, if you, you know, it just, yeah. Could have put, uh, you know, if you could have a facial disfigurement, you could have put it in a, uh, a slightly different place rather than sort of a comical eye patch. Hmm. This is you wait. This is where people tear me apart. And go, oh, actually, that's a proper disease. That's this. That's that. And I get torn apart by. Uh, um, oh yeah, hundred percent. I'll just uh, I'll end my social media life now. I don't really know what else they can mention on this. Just three slides that they keep on throwing out. Yeah, I know. Cut oh. this section out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really <laughs> impressed with this so far. Cut. <laughs> it's getting boring now. I know, yeah. Uh, Dan, just so you know, Psychic Awakening happens before the Plague Wars book, just so you know. No, it doesn't. It, I've just read it like three different times. Google it. I'm so glad we got YouTube. This is about you know things. when the psychic, you know when the psychic kind of explosion happens in the warp and everything. That's what this is. This is based before the Plague Wars book. This is the game catching up to the uh, to the law. Well, surely the game's caught up because Gulliman came around after the psychic rift. Mate, I'm I'm not the one writing the raw writing the law, mate. I'm just saying that the Psychic Awakening is based before the books, just so you know. Yeah, we, we don't like Gunnerman over the Blood Angels because, um, yeah, he turned up just as it was all finished in, just as we squared it away. Well, I mean, they always do that, though, don't they? They always just kind of turn up a little bit too late. and They, they always do that. What, I sort of march down the street, right. you know, on parade, like, yeah, Look at me. Yeah, I'm, exactly. to right, I'm gonna go get coffee. Anyway, I'm, not, I'm not too excited for this. <laughs> <laughs> Fair one. It's pretty dull. Oh, come on, it's three slides. Oh, look, the same slide again. Funny that. <laughs> so when are you gonna start painting Raven Guard? Uh, well, I've got, like I said, I've got to finish my Chaos Dwarf team. So I've got my human team to paint. Um, and Grumble being cracked. And I need to finish my Wood Elves. Once I've finished those three, if they're relatively easy wins, I'll, uh, I'll then look at my Heresy. I'll get that painted. Um, yeah. I've run out of paint my Heresy. Have you? I oh, know. Uh, what colours do you need? Mephist and Red. What, as a spray or as a... Paint. The paint. I'll, I'll have a look through my box. Still on this week? Yeah, mate. It's like going on and on, isn't it? Yeah, it's easy. This one just carries on, doesn't it? I think they're padding. Yeah, padding. Yeah. It's all right. I've got the dog now, so it's fine. Well, that's all right. <laughs> I need more coffee. I'm starting to stiffen up after this morning now as well. <laughs> oh, teach me if you get enough of these circuits. Oh. oh, look, at least it's going to be written, so there's going to be a lot of uh, lot of violence and battle in it. So it could be, it could be That's good, right. potentially. I'm not getting that from the stills that they just put up there. No. No. Oh, 
Oh, uh, right. So he's written like Black Legion. So it could be really good. Could be really good. I was not getting any of that from them stills though at all. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll be I'll be excited to see. Like I said, you know, some some moving action shots uh, from it rather than just three snapshots. It's pretty dull. Yeah. Stop talking about it. And get on to the next thing. Come on. Um. Well, well, we had, we had there's going to be like loads of episodes and we're going to see all of the war, Warhammer 40k so it okay. could be good I'm trying to think what else we've got left to go is this the last reveal this week? Um, I don't know I mean there could potentially be more I mean they were just going to do two and then they decided to do a couple more so there could be four potentially so there could be some more stuff coming out I kind of think there should be more for 40k I know we just got the uh the like the Inquisition and uh, Necrons, but I, f I think there should be more than that, surely. There should be, yeah. I thought so. Now, we've had two whole bloody Age Sigma armies. Wait, see, mate. Wait, see. Well, yeah. Oh, mate, you see in the back, he's got he's got Hero Quest, <laughs> like old school Hero Quest. Uh, the back of Adam's. Uh, oh, yeah, it does be. I think, uh, yeah, I, think, Hero Quest. I think I think Adam likes his special specialist games. I think he's got Aeronautica, Hero Quest, Kill Team, Titanicus. That's the sisters of Battle Box. He's got on there Aeronautica. Oh, is it? And he's got oh, yeah, speed in the background there. Nice. Those Titanicus on the shelf, good to see, good to see. Yeah. Well, it's nice when you get the staff discounts though, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish I did. 50%. Is it 50%, is it? Oh, mate. It's always worth joining, just uh, going to work for them, just for the discount. Mm. I feel we're going to need a discount when we go and buy them giants, I reckon. They're going to be like 80 quid each, aren't they? Minimum. Yeah, they're not yeah. going to be cheap. Stop padding. I, I just don't understand how they're getting excited for this TV program just from those little stills. Like, if we could have seen like a little bit of action with like a sister of battle fighting an Eldar warrior or something, or fighting a chaos cultist, like that would have been a lot more exciting. I think. Even if it was like a three-second flash of I don't know, two people talking, see something rather than nothing. Yeah, exactly. Like there was the space battle going on in the last preview, like, and then this one we just get like. A little art concept. Yeah. Maybe that's as far as through as it through with it as they are. Maybe, but then is it worth showing off in this preview? Oh one more what? thing. What we got? Oh, one more thing. Here we go. See what we got. It's oh. it's a librarian. Bloody Smurfs. That's oh, no. good. It's cool though. It's nice for the uh, for the Ultramarines players to be getting a, another model. <laughs> so how do you guys feel about oh, this okay. So he's going to be uh, an Adepticon. I can cope with that. It's all right. Two weeks order. Did anyone order the Lieutenant? I no. Uh, so you can order this now. So yeah. this is the only thing that you can order right now, then. Yeah. Well, you remember last last week they did the was it last week week four the lieutenant you could order for two weeks. Is that supposed to be the event only model? This one they were saying is the uh, adepticon event only model. Um, yeah. So I'll do the same thing. It's available for two weeks. Yeah, it's cool. It, do, it does look really nice, though. It's nice to have a Primaris sidekick as well, isn't it? Yeah. Well, he's, he's not a um, he's not Primaris. He's a librarian. He's not Primaris. He's just in Terminator armor. Oh, is it not? Uh, uh, okay. 
I meant, yeah, that's what I meant. So, because he's a librarian. I'm trying to go for Primaris Army. He wouldn't suit the Primaris Army. No. Oh, what's that in my ears? My net's packing in again. I think I'm going to have to have uh, okay, right, right, right. to it's, it it's not an Ultramarines one. That's right then. It's just a generic. Yeah. Yes. Oh, nice. Oh, so this is a battle. Oh, uh, mate, I'm missing that. Oh, she's Maybe pretty. Gone. Mate, I'll get nothing. She's very nice. Best model so far, Sai. It's a pity you're missing it. <laughs> yeah, that's the best one. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Cheers, 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 guys. Thanks for that. Yep. Oh, wow. Look at that detail. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Oh, yeah. I hate you now. <laughs> no, yeah, that's really cool. The flames on that are really nice. As the well. flames are really nice. They look almost look like they're moving, don't they? Yeah, like the she really. Yeah, mate. I'm just having dramas. <laughs> as you yeah. can probably tell. It's a really, really nice model. Yeah, let me get back to the. Uh... I like the um, I like the little cut across the nose as well. It's the uh, it's the little details in this, isn't it? Uh, mate, I... I might. Order this actually? No. I mean, I'm never get like I don't think I'm ever gonna do Sisters of Battle, but if I ever do, I'll be annoyed I don't have this because this will go for so much money on eBay. Now you, you start to talk like a scalper there, Richie. No, 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 I mean, like if in the future, if I wanted to do Sisters of Battle, stay in like a year or two or three oh, years right, time, and I physically can't price. buy this model because it will go for like eighty quid on eBay, I'll be annoyed at myself for not getting it. Yeah, and we've now I've got this. I've got a picture of her now, and <clears throat> she looks very, very cool. Yeah, that's so cool. That is cool. They've done some very decent, like, um, detail on her, haven't they? You know, especially looking to like the bodice and that. Yeah, it just it looks really dynamic. To be, I, I do really, really like that. Everyone look. Everyone loves flames on a base. I'm not really excited about the librarian, but the sister about No, it. not at all. She looks awesome. How much do you reckon she's going to be? 15, 20 quid? 25? Yeah, 25, mate, I can imagine. Probably yeah, yeah I'm, I'm not too worried about him. He's, he's okay. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not too fussed, really. I mean, if you look at that, that almost looks like a model that came out 15 years ago. Like, yeah. if that was in the current range of stuff that came out 15, 20 years ago, you wouldn't even bat an eyelid, would you? I, I don't. I don't use Terminator librarians, so I'll um, have to go online see if we find a, a, a comparable picture. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, GW, not impressed. <laughs> and I uh, sorry guys, not too uh, not too impressed on that one. Nice paint job. Wrong colour. Yeah. Wrong colour. <laughs> <laughs> what are you on about? That's the that's the only colour. What's the, the only colour? Blue. Comes in blue and that's it. To self-destruct and like burn up if you paint it in any other colour. Yeah, that's, that's the only colour. <laughs> there are 35,800 people watching this at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, and there's going to be that many people moaning about the fact it's the ultramarine as well. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah, it looks so much better, doesn't it? The thing is, you, you think we would have realised. Like you can now, tell that this was made now. If you're looking. That anything that gets released is going to be painted as a smurf first. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> That's good. I'm glad the plastic and not their, uh, their fine cast. Because, oh God, I hate that fine cast. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if they released that librarian in metal, that'd be amazing, wouldn't it? <laughs> that would be cool. I'd probably buy it in metal just because there's something about the weight of the metal figure when you move it around. Uh, it's what I like about the old yeah. school Blood Bowl teams, the, the metal. 
And um, you know, when you go back to like the character, oh, I, I miss the old stuff. Apart from the fact it does chip a little bit too much. Yeah, I was really excited about the yeah. um, about the, both the Giants and the Blood Bowl team. Obviously, kind of love them. Yeah, love them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Considering the fact like you don't really play H Sigma that much, so that's really good. Yeah, was, it's, obviously, looks... Soul Targets as well. Like I am an Empress Children player, so having Soul Targets to put on the board now, awesome. You just gotta go nice back to and um, repaint that master. Hmm. Um, are they even releasing any more Shades of Fire? Are they done, or is that it now? There's talk of them doing a season four. So that could potentially be in the next preview, then maybe. Hmm, possibly, yeah. But no, it was good. There was good. Some good stuff on there. Yeah, there was, there was some good stuff. A little bit disappointed with the amount of 40k stuff. Only two new models. I can imagine the 40k players aren't going to be too excited about any of that, really. Um, obviously, the Necron players, it's good for them. But I, I don't know. Is one model good enough? What did they get in the last preview? Did they get anything in the last preview? No, they literally only got the um, the Sisters of Battle character that was coming out that was from that book yeah. series. Mm. Like, the 40k players aren't happy at the moment. Like, they're only getting one model per army of the Psychic Awakening anyway. And when you compare that to, say, like, the Age of Sigmar that are getting lucky. full, we're getting, like, two new armies per preview, mm. and then they're only getting one model per one of their armies. It's like, stuff needs an overhaul. Like... Yeah. The Tyranids, when was the last time anything came out for that? It was like 10 years ago. When was the last time anything came out yeah. for Necrons? I know obviously we're getting that new model now, but is that good enough, do you think? In fact, no, Ty Tyranids got um, <clears throat> the new Gene Stealer, um, didn't they, when... Um, what was the board game came out? When Gene Stealer Cults came out, you got the uh, the new Gene Stealers there. That, that was a nice little model, but that was it. So they got the rules in the Psychic yeah, exactly. Awakening by the Bob, um, but we, you know, the Blood Angels players, we got the model, uh, which is yeah. Same yeah. with the um, Psychic Awakening for Dark Angels. They got the model, but they they didn't have anything for Grey Knights or um, Thousand Suns. Yeah. Yeah. A shame, really. Uh, I know it's nuts, but anyway, I think that was a uh, quite a good uh, quite a good preview. All in all, really couple of disappointing bits but on the whole the blood bowl and the uh age sigma was was pretty good really and yep. salt yes. so uh when are we going to get you in for your first game of blood bowl then richie <laughs> i don't know as soon as we're allowed to be within close proximity of each other i think i'll uh we, we, we try and get online. over we to do, yours we do it online mate we'll uh we'll put together a little box we'll, we'll wipe it all down we'll uh we'll arrange a yeah. drop off somewhere <laughs> Obviously, when I go out for my uh, my fizz on my bike, um, I'll drop it somewhere, and you can go for your run, uh, and then you can pick it up. And it's not a necessary journey, then, is it? Because you're doing your exercise. I see. Yeah, I see. Well, I think Warhammer is a necessary uh, journey anyway. I think. <laughs> well, it's good for your you know, your mental health and gets you through the day, doesn't it? Especially when you sit there. Oh, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. I mean, I got, I got my. Uh, did, you, uh, did you guys see the? Uh... The newspaper article about the guy who got busted by the police because he drove 250 miles for a pot of non oil. <laughs> I saw something on Facebook. That was actually for a loaf of bread. <laughs> was it? That was for a loaf of bread because it's 10 pence cheaper in London than what it was where he lived. <laughs> I can imagine someone doing that for non oil. <laughs> <laughs> God, but you do. I need to. <laughs> yeah, I know you need to. <laughs> Mate, there are places out there online that are still open. Off, yeah, it? just expensive now. Well, they bumped up the prices. Yeah. Right, anyway, boys, I think that was a good preview, and yeah. uh, yep. we'll see you guys in the next one, I think. Yeah, 100%. Definitely. Take it easy, guys. Yeah, see you later. See you later, guys. <laughs>